Published 10.59 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 23rd of July 2018. Updated 11.01 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 23rd of July 2018. Donald Trump lashed out at the Washington Post on Monday for a weekend story claiming he's growing impatient with the plotting pace of North Korean nuclear negotiations. And he threatened the acclaimed newspaper's owner, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, with a possible shipping rate hike from the U.S. Postal Service as payback. The Post reported in a front-page Sunday feature that the president has fumed at his aides in private because he has been forced to accept the diplomatic realpolitik of slow progress with America's demands for a denuclearized Korean peninsula. Even as Trump has claimed negotiations are continuing, according to the Post's unnamed sources, Pyongyang has cancelled follow-up meetings and cut off some communications with the U.S. as its ties with South Korea and China have improved. No matter, Trump seemed to be saying on Monday, blaming the Post and threatening its sister company Amazon instead of Kim Jong-un for gumming up the works. President Donald Trump denied on Monday that he's furious with the plotting pace of North Korean nuclear weapons negotiations instead of blaming dictator Kim Jong-un for saber-rattling over his maturing nuke program. Trump chose to bash the Washington Post and its sister company, Amazon.com. The Post reported Sunday that the president has fumed at his aides in private because of slow progress with America's demands for a denuclearized Korean peninsula's rocket has not been launched by North Korea in nine months. Likewise, no nuclear tests. Japan is happy, all of Asia is happy, the president tweeted, but the fake news is saying, without ever asking me, always anonymous sources, that I am angry because it is not going fast enough. Wrong, very happy, the Hermit Kingdom's last LANIC was November 28, 2017, less than eight months ago, when what the communist nation called a HWASONG-15 rocket flew 600 miles into the Sea of Japan, the missile's potential range is reportedly more than 8,000 miles, long enough to reach Washington, D.C. And the rest of the continental U.S. Trump had plenty to say about Bezos's business empire Monday, saying that, T, he Amazon Washington Post has gone crazy against me ever since they lost the internet tax case in the U.S. Supreme Court two months ago, next up is the U.S. Post Office which they use, at a fraction of real cost, as their delivery boy, for a big percentage of their packages, he continued. Amazon.com founder Jeff Bezos also owns the Post, but the companies are run independently of each other and my opinion the Washington Post is nothing more than inexpensive, the paper loses a fortune, lobbyist for Amazon. Is it used as protection against antitrust claims which many feel should be brought? The Supreme Court case, decided five weeks ago, allows states to force online shoppers to pay sales taxes, something most independent merchants using Amazon's massive platform don't do. Some analysts have estimated that fees charged to those third-party vendors represents one-third or more of Amazon's revenues. Adding sales taxes in states that levy them won't change the companies but, but it will make the website less competitive against brick-and-mortar retailers. Amazon already adds state sales taxes to products it sells directly to customers. Trump's warning about postal rates is more complicated. Trump is threatening a U.S. Postal Service rate hike that could eat into Amazon's profits at a time when the Supreme Court has just dealt it a blow by demanding it charge sales tax. He issued an executive order in April, setting in motion a top-to-bottom review of the Postal Service's finances. That came just weeks after he accused Amazon of benefiting from a sweetheart deal. Trump has carped repeatedly in the last year about financial losses the USPS has suffered, blaming them largely on Amazon, which uses the USPS for more of its packages than any other shipping service. The familiar domestic mail service lost $1.3 billion in the second quarter of 2018, but package deliveries were up 5% even while the volume of regular letters and marketing mailers plummeted. In the same period, meanwhile, expenses surged as the cost of fuel, wages and retiree medical benefits rose. Postmaster General Megan J. Brennan said in a statement in May that, D, despite growth in our package business, our financial results reflect systemic trends in the marketplace and the effects of an inflexible, legislatively mandated business model that limits our ability to generate sufficient revenue and imposes costs upon us that we cannot afford. In a March 31st tweet, Trump cited reports that the U.S. Post Office will lose $1.50 on average for each package it delivers for Amazon. That amounts to billions of dollars. 